Let's take a look at what's new in Bang version 1.1. Get started with one of the pre-designed muzzle flashes from the built-in preset browser. No more messing with cumbersome animation presets, just browse and select. An all new instance module fixes some issues and adds new functionality. Easy Aim has been improved to render better perspective at the edges of the frame. The unique stick to point control system was designed to keep the flash anchored to the position point control when moving around in 3D space. This caused problems when tracking a flash onto a 3D object, for example with Element 3D or this gun made from solids. A new checkbox lets you turn this off as required. And now you can automatically aim at a layer, like a null object, a light or this pesky space invader. To maintain backwards compatibility, if loading projects that were made with Bang version 1.0, you'll get the legacy instance module instead of the new one. The new compositing workflow options let you render your muzzle flashes to match the dynamic range of your source footage. Use video mode for pre-graded footage or footage shot on a phone or consumer camera. Log mode is for untreated footage from pro cameras and has a control to set the upper brightness range of your source camera. Here's the same footage with a log to Rec 709 LUT applied. Linear mode is for footage that's been linearized into floating point and maintains the super bright values above white. Finally, after many requests, you can now try the relighter module in trial mode and the watermark is much less intrusive now too. You can find out about all these updates and more in the bundled user manual, so be sure to have a read through and have fun with Bang version 1.1, available now as a free upgrade. <laughs>